Hello friends, and welcome back to Carburetor, the show about cars and their little and dirty secrets, especially in their electronics. If you are interested in chip tuning, you should know the Chinese clone flushers are history now. For a year or two manufacturers have made all of their devices to work online, most of the time, which has closed the door for Chinese hackers. And I think this is better, because everyone who has 50 euro in their pocket thought that they can chip tune a car. For those of you who say, well, but there is also EDC-17 available in the Chinese clone Galeto or KSV2, I can say the following, yes, but only the first versions. Try to read the computer that we talk about today and you'll see the result. So today we will talk about flashing EDC-17 C60, the PSA group Peugeot and Citroën. The car we will use today for the demonstration is a Peugeot 3008 from 2015 with a computer Bosch EDC 17 C60. It is a mission impossible for many clone devices and flushers, especially without opening. Well, today I'll show you how the software of this car can be read and written without opening. For those of you who don't know the EDC 17 generation of Bosch computers, I have to warn you that this ECU type have a TP or tuning protection against reading and writing, and if you try it, you can damage the computer. However, the original tuning devices will handle this task with ease. Today, I will demonstrate this with my preferred device, DFOX. We will need the device itself with its multifunction cable, brake box, USB cable, and 12 volt power adapter, which is also a part of a DFOX kit. We will read the errors first. The OBD connector is located on the left under the steering wheel. We use a diagnostic tool and we can see that we have errors for fuel pressure and problem with the pressure of the AdBlue system. Let's now move on to reading and writing the car software. For this purpose, the engine computer must be removed. In the engine compartment, there is a plastic cover. The ECU is located exactly there. After removing it, we put it on the table and we should open DFOX and read the instructions with the connection diagram. The power supply must be connected, that's two wires, 12 volt and ground, and two wires for boot mode, and two CAN lines for CAN high and CAN low. After we have connected everything according to the diagram, we press the connection button. Then the tool asks us to switch the ignition on. For this purpose, we use the button of the universal cable. Then we have to use, as I call it, the magic button or read all. And the reading begins. The program guides you and will prompt you to give the file a name and a location to store it. Then we see the progress bar in green as it starts counting percentages of the reading status. When it is ready, we turn off the ignition via the same button on the multifunction cable. We will have a few files in the folder that we set earlier. When you or the tuning company you use return the modified file to you, you should write it back. The procedure is almost the same. Press the connect button again and put the ignition on. Press write internal flash. The program will ask you if you want a correction of the checksum. Here be sure to say yes. The software will then ask you to select the original file to can compare the checksum from. Choose the original file and confirm. Here you have to be very patient because the calculation of the checksum may take some time. You will again be asked, do you want a correction of the checksum? Be sure to select yes. Again, otherwise the engine will not start and you may damage the computer. You will also have a message, keep the ignition on or power supply basically. Confirm by pressing OK. And after a second or two, the writing process will start. Here the progress bar is already highlighted in red to indicate that we are writing the file. Finally, you will be prompted to turn off the ignition and to wait. Do this and confirm by pressing the OK button. Well, that's it. You already know how to read and write the tricore locked computer Bosch EDC 17 C60 of PSA Group, Peugeot and Citroën. I hope you like the topics in the show. If you do, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your support, friends, and I wish you good health, courage, and maximum luck in your everyday endeavor. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next episode with more and more chip tuning and car electronic tips and tricks.